They've been rocking stadiums and concert halls for the past three decades with a blend of heavy rock and spectacular shows. The elaborately designed stage, patterned after their new Division Bell album that debuts next week, has been in the works at JRS since last week. We have three sets of 11 semi-trailers carrying the stage. They leapfrog across the country and 18 other semis carrying the production, meaning the special effects and the lighting, etc. And that's not all. Their North American 38-city tour is being promoted by the world's largest airship. We took a ride in their splashy 200-foot-long hand-painted blimp and got a sneak peek at the completed stage at Joe Robbie Stadium. Pink Floyd's long career has seen them take the high road against the top 40 flash-in-the-pan groups that lasted just a few weeks on the charts and then disappear. Their success with such thematic records as Dark Side of the Moon, which spent a record 15 years on Billboard's top 200 album charts, is due in part to the loyal following they've maintained since first debuting their psychedelic music in London in 1965. We don't need no education. Their popularity rose in the U.S. in the 70s with such albums as Wish You Were Here, Animals, and their critically acclaimed The Wall. The show featured an actual wall being built up around the band, signifying man's creeping isolation and antagonism against society. The Wall was even performed in Germany after the knockdown of the Berlin Wall in 1990. Although singer-based guitarist Roger Waters, the Wall's architect, left the band for a solo career in 1983, the band's popularity hasn't waned. Tonight's expected sellout of 50,000 seats at JRS is one of 31 shows already sold out on the tour.